talking about the explosion in Nashville. Maybe that's why YouTube knocked me off. Anybody out there? Wow. I don't know if you're even seeing this because nobody's showing up. I don't know if people realize that they got knocked off or not. Wow. Hello. Anybody there? There's two likes. So maybe I got two people. Oh, here we go. I don't know what happened. And it's like I got kicked off the live stream. All of a sudden, boom, I was gone. You think they didn't like what we were talking about? Hi, Patricia. Glad you're back. Trey's universe. Glad you're back. Do you believe it? I had there was like 70, 80 people in the room in the on the chat, and then poof, it froze. It kicked me off, Bobby. Totally kicked me off. I had to go in and start the live all over again. Part two. <laughs> Crazy, yes. You know, sometimes, you know, you never know. You can't trust YouTube because they want to, um, they knock people off for talking about things that they don't like. Hi, John. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody who came back here. Um, I'm hoping that my wrench finds his way back. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Carrie. Glad you're back. Round two. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could have had an update from the news, but I don't. So, it's crazy. Hey, Kev, see, I was on a live stream and I got knocked off. We were already talking for about probably a half an hour already. And Merry Christmas. Kate, I'm great, thanks. Merry Christmas. I was, as I was saying, I was in the middle of a live stream for the last half hour, maybe. And they just, it just knocked me off. Maybe they didn't like my Christmas pajamas. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they didn't like my Christmas pajamas. Maybe they didn't like what I was talking about. You know, that's how YouTube can be like that. Censorship. We're not going to talk politics, but it's out there. Censorship is out there. Well, I, you know, I was just saying, I hope everybody's having a great Christmas day. Yeah, haha, -ha, Kevin, I, don't you think so? Yeah. But, yeah, Danny's playing over here with her toy. If you came in late, this is what, uh, yeah, it is news. Our lifestyle is always jeopardized when someone does something like that in an RV or does anything in an RV. It affects all of us nomads that, and travelers, weekend warriors, we, you know, just campers who camp, you know, weekend warriors or time off warriors i was earlier i mentioned that santa brought danny this trainer collar hope it works it says it works badge says it works badge was in here a few minutes ago um the doxinator was here um who else was here a lot of people were here popular toys yeah I guess yeah, she'll love it when I zap her, right? Okay, Holly, what I was talking about on the other live stream when I was zapped off was the explosion in downtown Nashville. Yeah, it's a trainer, Kate. This morning, Christmas morning of an RV. Now... There's going to be a press conference, or maybe already was. You have to go catch up on that later or catch up on your local channels. But the original call came in as shots fired, and the police responded. They saw an RV, which they believed to be suspicious, a suspicious vehicle. They called out the bomb squad, and the vehicle exploded. It was not known if anybody was inside. They believe it was deliberate. They're asking the public for tips, if anybody knows anything, has any information. And, um, yeah. oh. so, um, it's unbelievable, you know. But the thing I was saying is two officers did get hurt. 
one and I don't not I don't know how serious or if they were just minor uh, or temporary um, effects of the explosion. One had a hearing loss. Thanks for dropping the li the link. And the other one was actually thrown to the ground by the explosion itself. So they weren't ready for that. Hey, Tina, Merry Christmas. Thanks for joining us. So that's what we were talking about. And my, my thought was don't be surprised if, you know, we're not as welcome, you know, in, in some places that we like to boondock or park, you know, like, of course, Walmart's, but, um, you know, other places, businesses, because this was in downtown Nashville, uh, just down the street, and several businesses had been, uh, suffered damages from that explosion in, in Nashville today. And I have a friend, a boondockers welcome friend, husband and wife, no, no plan van, no van, no plan van life, something like that. Oh, huh? sorry. And their daughter is a country western singer in Nashville. Yeah, I like Nashville. I love going downtown Nashville. I love going to the bars and the bars and the, you know, seeing all these people who just come to sing and they sing for free and just work for tips. That's how it goes in most of those places. Yeah. So, and I, I don't want to keep anybody too long. Yeah, it was Second Street. That's true. I know it's sad. And, you know, I'm glad that there were no fatalities at all that we know of, but a lot of buildings were damaged. And they haven't heard if anybody was in the RV. That'll be interesting, you know, because oh, they're going to run that, the VIN and they're going to find out who the RV is actually registered to or was last registered to, but that doesn't mean it wasn't an abandoned RV somewhere, you know. I just hate when stuff like that's going to be associated with recreational vehicles and then it's going to be associated with recreational people who don't have houses and now new laws are going to come out and all kinds of shit stuff like that hopefully not but I want everybody to be safe out there and be aware that that's what happened so I didn't hear about the recording that said that you know they had 15 minutes before the the bomb was going to explode I didn't hear anything about that but I did hear that somebody posted on Parker Parker parlor Parlor, that new the new social media forum someone made a post on there warning people to get out of the area that it was dangerous when that post was made if it was before so, now what somebody was listening to my live stream and said it just came out well if that was a fact that mean that that would mean that they just posted that after the explosion not before the explosion so I'm wondering if maybe it was posted before the explosion just nobody saw it i don't know i don't know there's just mean people out there you know and like i said i don't do very a lot of whole a whole lot of live streams i like to do you know what i usually do one at christmas but um it's good that the police were able to evacuate anybody who was in the area Thanks, Billy, for having everybody hit the thumbs up. I appreciate it. That's a great Christmas present, a thumbs up on a live stream. You know, I don't know, Kev. People do stupid stuff on Christmas Day. You know, they really do. I, uh, yeah, one of the officers has hearing damage. That's true. Merry Christmas, David. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, it's not, it's just not fair. It's not, I know, fairness, life isn't fair, but it is very sad, you know, and um, it, being a former law enforcement officer, I've seen so many things like this. No, not the way to world peace, right? It's not. Well, 
not just people who have hate in their heart, but people who are misinformed or brainwash. And people do silly stuff every day. I have put people in jail for bomb threats. Um, several people in jail for making bomb threats. And it's in Florida, it is a felony to make a hoax bomb threat. So even if there's not really a bomb there, and you say there is, that's a hoax bomb threat. And that's a felony. You know, so... It's crazy. It's crazy. I just hope uh, everybody has a Merry Christmas and is safe out there. You know, and Happy New Year. We don't, you know. I'm not, I'm not a gloom and doom person. That's why I am not sitting home, quarantined. I don't know, well, home, this is my home. I am sitting home, but, you know, sitting in a one geographical area. You know, I'm not sitting in a, in a geographical area that I call home and quarantining myself from living life. I am still out here traveling. Now, I'm not saying that might be for you. Merry Christmas, Patricia. I'm not, that might not be for you. And you do you and I'll do me. And what you might, if you don't feel comfortable or safe, then by all means, you should be doing what makes you comfortable and safe. And if someone criticizes that, well, you know, Shame on them, you know. If you feel comfortable and safe, staying in a safe location, hunkered down somewhere, that is perfectly fine. That's how you feel. It's got to be how you feel inside. If I feel comfortable and safe traveling, that doesn't mean I'm wrong. You know, if you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. I don't want to wear a mask. I'm not going to wear a mask. You know, it's the same thing. You got to do what's good for you. And I do what I think is good for me. True, Holly. And the only thing we have to fear is fear ourselves. Is fear itself. Fear will do terrible things to a person. You're out in the woods in a 29 foot trailer. Well, yeah, it's like wearing these great looking PJs, you know. They might not be for you, but they're for me. I like them, you know. That's what I have to say. That's correct. I like my PJs. But, um, yeah. I actually bought a new house coat, too. A robe. And um, I wore that today. I am comfy. Whoops. A little blurry. Sorry about that. I am comfy. Here's my new robe. It's black and furry. Yeah. And I bought a new nightgown. Um, Santa left me a new nightgown. It's a flannel. It goes down to my ankles. Thanks for coming, Kev. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Um, and it's got cardinals on it. And, match it and, and it's real comfy. Walmart. Yeah, but you know what? I am going to try to stop going to those places if I don't have to go. But I don't want to spend big, expensive prices somewhere else for the same thing that's made the same place as the Walmart stuff is. So I have my Christmas leggings that I wear that I actually is on my um, RV Rebel Gals, RV Rebel Girl at RV Rebel Gals, my website, which I don't do too much with it but it's there and yeah always new slippers or always new jammies for Christmas this is tradition in our family but I have uh, my my leggings that have Christmas ornaments on it and I'm gonna wear those today when I you know when I get up to decide to get dressed here we do need comfort what should be an offense passing time Twenty-three miles away, they um, they felt the blast. Oh, well, I believe it. I do. I really do believe it. It's too bad. 
you know. And I just hope nobody got hurt in their homes from the vibration, like it happens with, you know, a earthquake or something, when if, if it's that strong. So, you know, I just hope that everybody, I hope all the officers and, and fire department, the first responders are all safe and okay. The two that did suffer consequences of one getting thrown to the ground from the blast and the other one that with the hearing loss, I'm hoping that that hearing comes back. Um, it's bad enough as officers, we deal with have hearing issues just from driving in our car with our window open. You know, that was as an issue with me, my, uh, my left ear, because I've always had my window open in my patrol car so I could hear what's happening out there. If I hear screams or crashes or anything, because you can't be a good car, cop if you ride around with your windows closed. You can't hear nothing. Thanks, Rick. As Rick says uh, he's in Nashville, and he said that there were three people hurt, but no fatalities no, from the incident. But there were three people injured. And that would be the, probably the two police officers and maybe a third or somebody else. I'm not sure. Um, you know, people wouldn't do our job, but yet they give us a hard time about doing our job it's you know crazy but yeah you get here I got hearing damage just from having my window open then go into the gun range that's true Billy it would magnify the blast being in between buildings you know and all that flying glass from and glass that flies from several stories up that comes down when it that when the velocity that it's coming down from you know, falling from is, it can be, you know, deadly. Icicles kill people. Did you know that? Living in Chicago, that was a big deal. Living in Illinois, Midwest, in the winter, those big, huge icicles hanging buildings or your house. My brother and I would go out and knock those icicles down because if you're playing out there and they're pointy, like a, like a, um, like a dagger, and they'll kill you. It is kind of reminds you of Oklahoma City. But I think, well, yeah, but not as um, strong of a um, blast. Sure, a concussion can. Hi, Robert the Traveler. Merry Christmas. Thanks for joining. I love your channel. Uh yeah, you know, and the PTSD from people just living around there, you know, it's, you, it's unbelievable how much those kind of things matter. In Perfect Lioness, were you a reporter at a radio station? And I'm seeing a post now that there, people are advising the news is saying that they did have a 15-minute warning. 15-minute warning isn't enough warning to get out. You get, They have what they call reverse 911. I don't know if anybody's familiar with that. You know how when people call you 911? Well, they have a um, reverse 911. What, what it does is in the phone system, it has a a data bank of phone numbers, you know, might not be, hopefully everybody that lives in, in so many um, miles of the area that in question, and they can, um, they can um, use the reverse 911 system, and which sends calls to everybody's houses, get threatening, warning them like tornado, tornado, or sh take shelter, take shelter, you know, whatever they have to do. So um, I'm not sure if Nashville has reverse 911. I know, you know, and I've been retired 10 years, so I would think it's still in effect that that is still a resource reverse 911. But, um, you know, sometimes it takes, it's not that easy to initiate it. 
there may be steps to follow to get that to be initiated and people don't have landlines anymore so that would make it a lot more difficult to use a reverse 911 system um, yeah tina it's not on my channel here in florida um I, I although i'm in a like it's in an rv with an antenna tv and not cable so um, I would have to turn on my YouTube TV, which I use a lot. YouTube TV, I can get my channels in Chicago. I can get cha the major channels when I'm traveling to find the weather out and things like that. I was really though amazed when I saw that. It's on YouTube. There were a lot of YouTube videos made already this morning about it. But my purpose was to address our community. Now, some of our community, they don't watch YouTube TV. They don't watch TV at all. They don't watch the news at all. But they will watch a live stream. And they will watch a YouTube video by another nomad. So I was hoping to spread the news that way to tell people to be careful and to understand that um, if for some reason they get turned away, it could be because of these things that have, this thing, this had happened this morning. So be very cautious when you're searching for a place to boondock and your surroundings. You know, be very cautious about your surroundings. Know your, you know, have your awareness and know your surroundings. Don't become a victim. You have decks down still? You mean the walk, push to talk? You know, in hurricane times when I was with the sheriff's office, when we, uh, we took a direct hit from Hurricane Charlie here in Fort Myers in, um, it was on August 13th of, 2000 I don't remember what year it was but anyway we took a direct hair hit here in Fort Myers and I was one of the I was deployed for the hurricane and after the hurricane the only thing that would work here was our push to talk talkie talkies telephones didn't work and nobody had phone service so it was either our police radio or our push to talk radio for private conversation that's pretty interesting to know that the the next out push to talk walkie and talkies did work that's why, ah, uh, the light just went on. People, I have a CB in my car. Oh, just send you warnings. I have a CB. My CB, on a CB you have channel nine, which is the police channel. Hopefully somebody still monitors it, I don't know. But the rest of the channels, and you won't believe the number of farmers that are on those channels. So if you're traveling in a, in a really, you know, desolate area where there's no gas station on these country back roads, Hopefully there's a farmer that's got his ears on, you know, hey, anybody got their ears on? Breaker, breaker, one, nine, you know, um, and there's different channels for different things, but there, there is a channel for like boaters. I think it's channel 10 that's for boaters and RVers and stuff, but RVers don't go to channel 10. And then who else is listening that can come and help? Carrie Joe, a CB is not that expensive. In fact, you can probably get a used one for real inexpensive. Yeah, there were supposedly there were shots fired before the explosion. That were the calls to the police. They don't haven't confirmed that by innocent by, bystanders or callers. But there'll be a lot of investigation to do on this. When I did I did a um, investigation on uh, bomb threats over the phone and I it was it we were able to track who made the calls and I arrested them. There's still a lot of evidence you have to put together before you can bring charges. You have to have, you just can't bring charges. You have to have evidence that, that would say that the person you arrested did that. My uncle had a, a CB um, home base unit and had one in his car. And it was on all day long when he was at work. And, um... My aunt, he would call my aunt on the CB, not on the telephone, because back then you paid for local calls. You know, local calls were so much money. You know, every call you made was money. So we didn't use a phone back then like you do now. Thanks, Billy and Rhonda. You don't need, you know, I would have a CB now. You don't have to have one just because you travel, you know, or you're on the road traveling. Like I said, my uncle had one and he just used it when he went to work. In fact, like on his way home from work, he would call his wife on the CB and 
say, do you need anything on my way home? And she'd say, we'll pick up milk and bread or whatever. And that would all be on the CB, not on the telephone. Yeah. It's pretty cool. You know, but you have to, you know, have your, your radio turned on and be within so many miles of your base or, you know, where the person that you're sent, trying to get a hold of. There was something he would do is he would get on there and call her and she'd hear his voice or his, her handle, the home base handle. Yeah. Um, my ex-husband, my first, my son's dad, he had a home base in his house and he was on that CB at nighttime all the time. They are fun. Oops, hold on a minute. My battery's starting to go low, which means I got to plug this guy in or I'm going to lose you. Yeah, I'm going to plug in my, in my phone. I totally forgot that I'm on the telephone and I got to worry about my battery. The rig is a, a mess. Let's see if I can we'll plug this in. So we don't lose ya. Up oh, there it is. Yeah, my rig is a mess. It's uh you can't really see outside, but I do have the TV on. <laughs> Danny's sleeping. Oh, let's see if I can sit over here. I'm moving. Change the scenery for ya. Yeah. Well, oops, I think I need to let y'all go. Oops, I'm losing my chair here because I relocated. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to let you go. I'm going to go ahead and change and get on my Christmas pajamas and hop into my Christmas leggings and... Um, I agree. Screw that shit. <laughs> you know, have a Merry Christmas. It's not something that you have to dwell and gloom and do your, your day about, but it is something that you need to have, you know, your situational awareness about. So be situationally aware in your travels, everybody. I hope you have a very, very Merry Christmas and a happy new year if I, but I'll be having videos before then. YouTube Billy, thanks for moderating for me. And thanks everybody for sharing part of your Christmas day with me here in my little camper. And bless you all. Safe travels. Merry Christmas. Have a great day. Mwah. Bye. You made my day too, Bobby, for showing up. Holly, everybody, Billy Strong and Rhonda, thank you for moderating. Craig, Doxinator, thanks for stopping in earlier to moderate. Everybody have a great Christmas. Enjoy your day. Robert, thanks for stopping by. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Hing. Bye, everybody. Oh, there's Danny. Let's see what I can do here. Turn off my... There she is. She's like, what's going on? Oh, it's not letting me 